हेलो स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन यूर पीडिया एजुकेशन सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट इन द सीरीज ऑफ मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन फॉर डेटा साइंस एंड ए आई गेट टू जीरो टू फोर इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस सम टेन क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू एल्गोरिथम एंड डेटा स्ट्रक्चर सी माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू टॉक अबाउट डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एंड एल्गोरिथम द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इज इन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर द क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू स्टैक स्टैक क्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू स्टैक मीन्स द ऑपरेशन ऑन द स्टैक्स again in the similar way the question on queue or the operations on the queue and then in the linked list they may ask or they may give you some code and in the code they may like they just give a blank part and you have to fill the blank part according to the given operations so these type of questions are very important moving towards the graph entry in graph entry the most important questions are in related to like finding in order pre order post order bfs dfs so these are some of the important parts moving towards the algorithm in algorithm the most important part is solving the recurrence relation then questions based on the binary search problems then time complexity related to different searching and sorting technique hoffman coding and then prims kruskal spanning tree finding the spanning tree then finding the total number of spanning tree time complexity or the cost of minimum cost spanning tree discastra mcm floyd warshall so these are some of the important topics related to algorithm so keep practicing questions related to these topics so my dear students in this video i am going to ex explain some 10 important questions you may face these type of problems in your upcoming exams so the first problem is we have to find out instead of finding the cost of minimum spanning tree we have to find out the total number of spanning tree to spanning tree means here the part is missing the question is total number of minimum spanning tree find my dear students minimum cost spanning tree the number of here the problem is minimum the total number of minimum spanning tree possible is see my dear students always whenever you are trying to construct the spanning tree how you can proceed just take the minimum weight edge that is this one that is c to b fine next e to is the minimum one that is 2 and 1 now my dear students again the next minimum is d to a d to a fine that with cost 3 that is the main part my dear students now again f f is a in pendant vertex so there is only path that is b to f having the weight 6 now there is a twist my dear students the twist is you can you can either cover to make this tree connected you either you can take this four or either you can take this four so one graph is this one having four here or one graph is this one having four here so in this way we have total number of two spanning tree possible in this case so the correct answer is two fine my dear students the next problem is yeah that is the standard formula based problem we have to find out total number of bst possible total number of bst possible see my dear student the first problem is the first is 2n cn n plus 1 second option is 2n c n minus 1 third one is 2n c n divided by n and d is none so the correct answer is this one my dear student this is a standard formula so you have to memorize this formula even though we can prove this formula by just taking the number of nodes see my dear students i want to give you some number of bsts some examples of number of bst see my dear students if we have only one node suppose the node is 10 then we have only one bst possible this one suppose that we have two node 10 and 20 so the total number of bst possible is one is 10 and 20 and the next one is 20 and 10 fine suppose we have three number of nodes now in this case we have five bst possible one is 
ट्वेंटी थर्टी वन इज थर्टी ट्वेंटी एंड टेन नेक्स्ट इज ट्वेंटी टेन एंड थर्टी नेक्स्ट इज टेन थर्टी ट्वेंटी एंड नेक्स्ट इज थर्टी टेन एंड ट्वेंटी दीज आर द डिफरेंट फाइव बी एस टी विथ थ्री नोट माई डियर स्टूडेंट सो इन दिस वे इफ यू पुट दीज वैल्यूज यू विल गेट इफ वन नोट वी हैव वन बी एस टी टू नोट वी हैव टू बी एस टी थ्री नोट वी हैव फाइव बी एस टी दैट इज द स्टैंडर्ड फॉर्मूला फाइन सो वट इज द फॉर्मूला टू एन सी एन बाय एन प्लस वन नाउ अगेन दिस टाइप ऑफ क्वेश्चन ऑल्सो यू मे फेस इन दन मार्क्स प्रॉब्लम सी वी हैव टू मैच द फॉलोइंग सो माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स always keep in mind that time complexity the best case time complexity as well as the worst case time complexity see if i talk about merge sort in all the cases it is n log n so we can match with 3 next is quick sort now quick sort has two type of time complexity in the best case n log n in the worst case it is n square yes so merge sort this is not log n this should be Merge sort is n log n. That is two. Now, if I talk about quick sort, it is n square. Even though it is n, you have to go with the options also. Like one and two, both both are true. But two is for the best case of quick sort. One is for the worst case. MCM, n cube. We know that binary search log n. Fine. So accordingly, you have to match the options. So that is the right point. Next. Very good problem. Considered an array with n distinct element. Okay, we have an array with n distinct element. Okay, which is first sort in ascending order and then it is sort in descending order. What is the time required to find the maximum element? See, my dear students, in these type of problems, just take some sample data. So first, my input is. In ascending order, and the elements are distinct in nature. It means, suppose ten. Twenty, thirty, forty, and fifty, sixty. Now it is again in descending order. It means sixty, then fifty-five. Suppose forty-five and thirty-five. So what we need to find out the maximum element, which is sixty. Now thus this sixty element has some property. What is that? The adjacent element of sixty, that is left and right side, is always minimum to this this element. so again what you have to do you have to apply the binary search finding the middle element always find the middle element which has the property left is element left is small right is greater suppose that your middle element is this one now what happen the left part is small but right part is greater so move on the right hand side part this side left is greater right is small so move on the left part that is the simple case find my dear students the time complexity is always log n and you can just apply the binary search in this case moving ahead my dear students the next problem is consider the following characters with their frequency is this is a problem related to half man coding and what is the time for character b what is the time required for character b what is the sorry code for instead of time what is the code see my dear students in this type of case again you have to construct the bst fine see my dear students how and we know that in this type of questions we always have to take the two minimum elements what is the two minimum element b and c so c and b c having the frequency 3 b having the 5 5 plus 3 is 8 fine now again take two minimum two minimum is d and e so we are taking e here we are taking d here that is 6 that is 7 6 plus 7 is 13 and next we have 10 and 11 fine but we have to merge 10 here that is a a having the 10 so 10 and 8 is 18 next is 11 we have to f f is 11 11 and 13 is 34 and finally we have to merge 18 and 34 fine that is going to be 52 now we have to find out the code what should be the code so again just mark 
जीरो वन जीरो वन जीरो एंड वन फाइन माई डियर स्टूडेंट सो अकॉर्डिंगली यू कैन फाइंड आउट वट इज द कोड फॉर बी बी इज वन जीरो वन वन जीरो वन इज द कोड फॉर करेक्टर बी सो ऑलवेज टेक टू मिनिमम दैट इज द की पॉइंट ऑफ दिस हाफ मैन कोडिंग नाउ द टाइम रिक्वायर टू फाइंड द साइकिल इन आ लिंक लिस्ट माई डियर स्टूडेंट इफ यू फाइंड आउट दट साइकिल इन आ लिंक लिस्ट वट अप्रोच यू हैव टू फॉलो दिस इज अ लिंक लिस्ट Suppose there is a cycle. If there is no cycle, order of n time. Suppose that there is a cycle. Fine. Now what you have to do? Just take two pointer. Just take two pointer. One is p. One is q. Increment one pointer with one step size and increment one pointer with two step size always. Fine. And when the 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 pointer which run fast, just cross out. or the crosses the um, pointer which is slow so when if this is a case then we we can say yes there is a cycle otherwise there is a no cycle which will take order of n time next my dear students the problem is con consider the following operations on the stack consider the following operations on the stack and what is the resultant output so append first of all we are appending 10 okay then we are appending 20 fine then we are appending 30 fine next we are pop out 30 is pop out next we are appending 40 40 20 and 10 next we are pop two times fine then append 20 10 and 20 so the resultant element in my stack is 20 next my dear students we need to find out the post fix of this given expression okay so my dear students we know that to find out the post fix first of all we have two multiplications and multiplication have the associativity left to right so first solve this one it means b c star and we have one more we have one more um, expression that multiplications that is de so de star now my dear students we have remaining three operators one is plus one is minus and one is again minus so all these have left to right associativity so first of all a and plus so we can over with this part then minus then after plus we have minus and then f minus so that is the code a b c star plus minus see my dear so again we have to check it i think there is a problem see my dear students the expression is a plus b star c minus d star e minus f so first of all we need to solve this one that is a plus now b c star minus d e star minus f now again this this and this one a b c star plus this is one part minus d e star minus f again now a b c star plus d e star minus and f and minus that is the right answer so which one is true a b c star plus d e star minus f a is the right answer fine my dear students keep in mind you have to take the parentheses and then try to solve otherwise there is a chance to do the mistake next we have to solve this type of recurrence lesson my dear student this is a recurrence lesson for the selection procedure the best case so if we go with the substitute method the next time is t of n by 2 square plus n by 2 plus n again t of n by 2 cube plus n by 2 square plus n by 2 ki power 1 plus n by 2 ki power 0 if we go for the k times we'll get n upon 2 ki power k which is going to be n plus n upon 2 ki power k minus 1 plus n upon 2 ki power k minus 2 
प्लस एन अपॉन टू की पावर वन प्लस एन अपॉन टू की पावर जीरो जस्ट टेक द कॉमन एन दिस इज अज विच इज गोइंग टू बी अप्रोक्सीमेट टू एंसर इज बी गो ऑफ एन ओनली वी दिस इज द स्टैंडर्ड वी ऑलरेडी सोल्व इन अवर क्लास सो दैट इज द स्टैंडर्ड क्वेश्चन मूविंग टू वर्ड द नेक्स्ट कंस्ट्रक्ट टू कंस्ट्रक्ट यूनिक बाइंडी ट्री इफ इन ऑर्डर एंड आउट ऑफ प्री ऑर्डर एंड पोस्ट ऑर्डर वन इज गिवन इट विल टेक ऑर्डर ऑफ एन स्क्वेर टाइम वाई ऑर्डर ऑफ एन स्क्वेर टाइम बिकॉज माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स सो इफ इट इज इट इज टॉकिंग अबाउट द बाइंडी ट्री नॉट द बाइंडी सर्च ट्री बिकॉज इफ वी हैव दी बी एस टी इन ऑर्डर इज सोटेड इफ इन ऑर्डर इज सोटेड इन दैट केस इट विल टेक एन लॉग एन बट हेयर वी हैव सिंपल बाइंडी ट्री एंड वी नो दैट फॉर द बाइंडी ट्री ऑलवेज इन ऑर्डर इज नॉट सोटेड दैट्स वाई इट विल टेक ऑर्डर ऑफ एन स्क्वेर टाइम फाइन so these are the 10 problems my dear students related to data structure and algorithm so try to keep practicing these type of problems these are simple in nature but yes there is a chance that you just do a silly mistake fine my dear students so keep in mind just go through all those type of questions or those those varieties of questions and in the next video also we are going to discuss 10 more important problems related to data structure and algorithm thank you